My name is Brad Myers. Uh, I'm uh, Derek Rose's personal health handler. The Bulls hired me after Derek was injured in uh, 2011 in the playoffs. You know, he's very important to the city of Chicago. So my job is to just sort of generally make sure that Derek is safe at all times. Um, I, I guess I was born for it. I mean, it, it was really like I've always been sort of a nervous person. I had a lot of phobias and um, a little OCD. Um, I started working at the Field Museum in Chicago and in 99 they had a big earthquake there and one of the Egyptian sculptures was about to fall. Guess what? I was there to catch. I mean, I caught it. The Bulls heard about this so they had me come in and um, just always be ready to catch Derek. I mean, you know, <laughs> he's probably a, most, a fragile piece of art in Chicago. I'll, I'll come into a room before he's scheduled to be there and vet the room I like to place bubble wrap on banisters, wall edges, furnitures, and doorways. I will place all glass in the room with plastic, just to make sure there's nothing breakable that Derek could potentially hurt himself on. So th those are the types of things I do. I'll in the locker room, I'm, I'm there with him. We've installed a special sta uh, a shower. We have a rubber floor. I'm there by his side while he showers. Washcloths. Black people like washcloths. They don't go by his skin. We have all types of uh, things in place for that. I, I've, I've never enjoyed a bull skin because I'm always working. I'm there uh, on call. I'm down there underneath the basket just in case Derek falls. With my gloves on, of course, I'm waiting for him. I don't know if you've seen the movie Bodyguard, but I'm basically Kevin Costner to his Whitney Houston. Clown up in, uh, you know, out of all. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm always uh, awake and ready for Derek 24 hours a day. I'll, I'll be by his bedside while he's sleeping. I will be there on his side to make sure he doesn't fall off the bed or I need to make sure that he's dreaming. We don't want any restless nights of sleep for Derek that could affect his game performance. So sometimes I'll actually caress his head while he's sleeping ever so gently, whisper into his ear, read him a bedtime story. Uh, sometimes I'll get in the bed and cuddle with him if he's having a nightmare. Just anything to make sure he gets a really decent night's sleep is really uh, my main concern with Derek. So I'm always with him. Thank you, Brad, so much. Good luck to you and Derek, and, and hope you guys really break a leg in the playoffs. Did you break a leg? Did, what do you mean break a leg? Did somebody break a leg? Where's Derek? Jesus Christ, I mean, I mean, you could have thought of a different expression to. I should have just said good luck. I'm good, sorry. good luck. Yeah, we we try not to use those phrases with Derek. You know, we don't. We we, we try not to ever say break a leg around Derek. I'm sorry. I'll just let you finish setting up. But thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the little hand. I already got the rubber gloves on. I don't. I don't really need the hand sanitizer. Just you know, it's, it's always nice to be safe.